Now, this is a, the fly I'm going to tie. This is a, a shuttlecock, or what we call a shuttlecock. But it's obviously, as you can see the way it's tied, it's a, an emerger type fly. Now, this is a good midge, obviously, uh, pattern as much as it's a very good olive. Uh, for basically, you not know, standard olive patterns, uh, lake olives and so on. And in both rivers and lochs, uh, you'll catch fish with this. This is a, a size, this one here is a size 12. It's uh, the short, basically the short shank special. The body is equivalent to a 14, uh, it's a gape, it's uh, equivalent to a size 12. This one is a size 14, though you can see that the shank's equivalent to a size 16, so it's a wee bit smaller. And I mean, I go even smaller, this is uh, a 22, so you, and it's, I've tied it with the same materials. Now, it's quite simple to tie, the, I can show you actually. Thread. I'm going to be using this is a yellow olive by UTC and it's a 70 as you can see simply just start at the eye come down to the point and then remove the waist and then come up see a stop about a head length from the eye I'm going to tie in the CDC now you're looking for medium to large feathers and this size three feathers is fine um, especially if they're decent feathers that's easy another one another third one so what I'm basically doing is laying them on top of one another there's a natural curve in the feather as you can see it's curving up and away I'm going to pull these together make sure the tips are lined up the, the length is really round about the length of the hook tied forward of the eye and there's three or four turns there just to see and there's the space you need you want to put a bit I'm going to end up with a tiny bit of dubbing at the front there just to lift the wing or lift the CDC slightly. Now once I've caught it in, we can come in from the back and we put an angled cut just like that. It's important that you watch your thread at this point. Gives the thread a lot more grip and it ties in the materials far better. Now we get to this point here, I'm going to tie in this material here, this is uh, Uni Myla, it's clear, it's number 14, which is a medium size, it's just a clear plastic. Now I've obviously got some lying on my desk, just pick it up. So the length here, so we're just going to tie this now down. This is going to coat the fly, you can cover the fly, uh, the body with this. Just say, I mean, you don't need to use a resin or anything, this, this is strong material, it'll hold. So once we've got it down, don't go around the bend too far, that's far enough. And then we come back up to this point here, just at the beginning of the thorax. And we tie in there, you can either tie in peril, or you can tie in, I mean, there's two materials here, we two good colours for you. We either get gold or peril, one or the other, uh, both work. Now I'm going to use the gold. Just a gold flash, it's just a piece of the gold flash that I've got lying for tying lures and salmon flies, so anything like that. And all we're going to do here is just highlight the beginning of the thorax with the gold. Tie in. There's a good miller so before the wing. We'll cut that away and then we we'll basically come up with a clear wrap. Covering the, the body and beginning of the thorax. And we tie it off. Trim away. Now, what I'm using here, this is just a natural dub. It's like a fox squirrel dub. And it's ideal, it's just like a natural fibre. It's got a nice length in it. Now, what I'm doing here is just I'm going to lay it onto the thread, on the top of the thread, close to the the hook. Then I'm going to spin from the bottom. So I'll make sure it's set. Spin from the bottom. It'll tangle up itself. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not touching it, but what I'm going to do is, is to try and keep it leggy like and then keep tightening up and winding the thread through it. Pull the wing back, come in front, come back, 
when you've got enough in this case I've got enough you want it leggy you want it you'll do what you're trying to represent is like the fly starting to burst open and hatch and that's this is what I'm doing with the dubbing making it loose uh, leggy very natural like as you can see I'll tie it up a wee bit once I've actually finished off but to varnish it's very simple but varnish onto your thread then wet finish just lift the wing out of the way tie it trim away and then we can take away the excess there you go rough and ready that's what you're looking for you don't that there just gives the impression of obviously the, the, the fly starting to hatch with the legs on it with natural fibre obviously the CDC gives the impression of the wing uh, presents the uh, the nymph and the hatching fly in the right position so it's a great it's a great pattern uh, you change the back of the fly and the dubbing to suit whatever you're trying to represent as I say it could be a, a mayflies or small mayflies it could be obviously in this case it could be a midge it could be really anything uh, it's entirely up to yourself now as I say I do tie them small 22s and I use the same material so I, mean, I can actually show you I can get a this is the hook here, this is the one I like to tie Now use this on the river, this is the uh, Tiempo You can see it there, it's a 2487 it's a, This one's the barbless version uh, It's a lovely wee hook, I use, I use this hook a lot in rise and the mergers It's a strong hook, that's why I like it as well Holds extremely well right. What I'm going to do is just come in, if I can, a wee bit further I put this out the hook in a wee bit better so you can see it. Set it up a wee bit. There you go. Now, you could change the thread, but I'll, I'll keep everything the same and show you. So, the first thing I do is go to wax the thread. I'll, I'll put a pearl thorax on this one instead of the gold. So. so, what we do is we just come in with two or three turns, much as we did. Take away, in this case I'm just going to break it off, or cut away the thread, sorry. So we're at the point of the hook. We come back up, see a head length from the, the eye. Uh, now get some, just get this, you can either use a single feather, or again, two or three very small feathers. Now I'm just going to use a single feather just to show you how to do it. So basically what I do is get a single, decent feather. A little bit better than that. Uh, one that actually, I like the darker fair times on these. Uh, this seem to, well, you could have a mix. It works well for me. Uh, there we are. That's a better one. So it's just it's a larger feather actually. So what I'm doing is pulling the fibre in to the tip. Tie it forward to the eye like we did before. The first flight. So we pull it in. Do a turn and then I'm going to basically bring these two together. So, what I'm going to do is come round like I would post a flat, a, a wing, with a couple of turns. And then, what I'm going to do is use basically the waist end and the tip of the, the CDC feather to form the wing. So, I need to see it sideways. I'm just going to trim it at a slight angle at the top. Come together. Looks a bit rough just now, but once I bring the material up, I'll sit like that and it'll hold it fine. So we go to a clear wrap again. But this time, what I want to do, when in the spool, before I take off, give it a stretch, it reduces it by half. So we can reduce it right down to tie a smaller fly. So what I'm going to do, catch this on the way down, a couple of turns. Pull it in. There's your body. Start to come up. I should have pearl lying on my desk uh, somewhere. I just have to grab some. So we've got the, the pearl I'm using is the, this the uni the uni pearl number sixteen. This is a f the small, but you could use it from a piece of flash or whatever you have. 
Now what I'm going to do is just catch this just before the thorax. A couple of turns. One, two turns. Just be careful with the turns of thread. Obviously, tying a size 22, you really got to be careful. So then we bring my, my clear wrap up. Catch it. Just the back of the, the wing. Two or three turns. Trim away. Got the same dubbing. Just gonna, don't need as much, obviously. Again, we set it on, start to twist. This time I'm going to come really. Drop there, I don't want. Just twist it a little tangle, a little. Make its way around the thread, do a turn in front, a turn at the back, just to see how it's going to go. Come to the back again and into the front. And there we are, see how it kind of brings the wing together, it's a bit rough looking just now. But what we're going to do is just keep the thread tight. It's going to varnish the thread. So that's a 22 time of the same material really. Uh, looking at about three turns is fine. But you see I varnished the thread so once I tighten up it's fine. There we go. So we went through to this size, to that size, uh, which you can do, uh, so what I'm going to do is just tidy this, this up, take away any hair so you can see what it's like. So obviously a couple of fibres that we've tied too stiff and too long, you can always take them away for this size of fly. But it just shows you what you can get, this is a great, I mean this wee pattern here, for grayling, Brown trout, I mean, I catch through, you can catch through the season. You can change the obviously body colour. Uh, this would be a good one for the blue winged olive. That would be a good wee pattern. So, anyway, wait, wait. that's the actual one I tied in the video. So, there's the two. That's, so see, that's equivalent to uh, it's a size 14, size 22, same fly, same material. You can see in the body and such, uh, just by wee stretch, and you can have two really good patterns. Both would work extremely well. I, I use these both in the river. This one especially at the beginning of the season and the end, uh, and an odd time through the, the season. In the lock, the olives are coming off, midge coming off, it works. Same with this, you could use it in the locks, if there is small midge come off. Targeting fish, it's a bit fussy. Uh, you see, it's a nice wee pattern. Um, it's certainly, they don't take long to tie. I mean, I, I tie these usually quick. Uh, 